Crazy? I was crazy once. They put me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room of rats. And rats make me crazy. Hello, hi, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of the Isaac videos on this channel. I I got like no identity, do I? There's like there's like nothing up here. It's just it's just it's just me. I'm just like chilling. I'm just playing Isaac. That's that's all it is, man. I, I don't know, like honestly, I never knew if I was cut out for this YouTube shit, you know? <laughs> Let's, let's start off with that. How about that? I, I like to think I'm not like other YouTubers, as in I don't do the things that, like, every YouTuber does. <laughs> I don't have a channel identity. I don't, I don't like, you know, have, like, go-to intros, outros, phrases I say. Maybe I do. I don't know. I don't, I don't tell people to subscribe, like, 10 seconds into the video. I, I don't do any of that, you know? I'm just, like, kind of chilling. Reroll that. Oh, what the heck? That's amazing. All right. This is starting off wonderfully. Love me a parasitoid pickup on the Lost, where I am inevitably going to get perfection, and thus the ability to, very much so, make even better use of this. It caps out at 5 luck. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. I was crazy once. They put me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room of rats and rats. As you may know, may or not know, they make me crazy. Okay, I'll stop with that now. And for some reason, that's just like that... That, that one one video where people are saying that showed up on my Instagram reels uh, the other day, and it's been living in my head rent free. That video, it's it's been living in my head rent free since then. It's a darn shame, but that's how things go sometimes. Uh, you you encounter a meme, a meme that is like remotely funny to you, and then you can't think of anything but that meme for like a week or two. At least that's how it works for me. I don't know. It's not likely to pay out with four coins, but what if it does? Oh my god, it did. I cannot believe it. Okay, well, I can get that battery now. I was like, I was like debating like, do I want the battery in the shop? Do I want it? It's pretty good. And then I decided, you know what? I do want the battery. It is pretty good. It is very good. I should take it. So here we are. Who are we fighting? Monster. Well, this should be trivial. Can you stop doing the big hops? Yes, do these. Oh god. But don't land on top of me. That's rude. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that, whatever. It's a luck up. Oh, hey, item room straight away, huh? Don't care about mine crafter, but what I will do is I will use it to look for a secret room, perhaps. Okay, and then I will re-roll it. And I'll roll it again. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Can't win them all. You know what we'll go huge on this run now with Parasitoid in my in my pocket? Freaking hive mind. If I could find that, that would be huge. Maybe I will check the shop and see if there's like a, a hive mind in there, because I can always blow up my donut machine to get money. But hive mind would go absolutely mental on this run. With how many flies I'm going to be making, and spiders, for that matter. Who are we fighting? Blub. This should be trivial. As soon as those Parasitoid tears hit, this guy is toasted. But I do have, like, no DPS upgrades, like, at all. Like, it's all Parasitoid right now. I'm exclusively reliant on that being, being like, all the damage I needed to. That's bad. I should just use the... I should use the soul of the loss there, just to be safe. Didn't get hit again, but you never know, right? That's what the soul of the loss is for. Safety. Let's check the devil deal. What we got? Uh, don't care. Oh, nine lives is good. I gotta take it. Nine lives is too good to pass up. Do I take Jesus Juice? Roll me. Oh, that's so much better. That's so much better. Tier rate is so much better with Parasitoid than damage. Oh, there's my other secret room, by the way. Oh, ho. Please open in less than four keys. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Well, so much for tier rate. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, much more impressive, though. Do I want Lusty Blood? Let's see if I can get another charge. I'm... Lusty Blood is good, but I'm not the biggest fan, and if I can re-roll a secret room item, I should absolutely go for it. Uh, so if somehow I can get another charge, which does not appear to be the case, unless there's nothing cool in here and I just want to buy a battery charge. PhD is almost worth just buying, though. Let's see how much money I can get. I think I'll be able to get both very easily. Okay, let's uh, let's see, right? Like, Lusty Blood is totally fine. It's, it's totally an okay item, but what if? Okay, <laughs> I, I was too greedy. I was punished for my sins, aka greed. That's how it goes sometimes. Oh well. This is definitely the way to the boss, by the way. Yep, okay. Let's fight him right away, might as well. Get yourself that perfection, you know, all that good stuff. It is Wormwood. I got bombs, so he is in for a rough time, buddy. Eat it. Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're dead, kiddo. I'll just take the box. It tends to drop useful stuff, like a Solo Jacob and Esau that dropped me, like, a gazillion batteries. What the hell? And a Tears Up pill. That's actually huge. There's my treasure room. The very thing that I need to succeed here. Roll me. Okay, I'm gonna have to take it. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Well, my tier rate is shambolic, but look at the damage, bro. Holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Um, can't say I was expecting that. I'm gonna shoot one tier every two seconds, but it does damage. And it pierces as well, thanks to Polly and stuff. Yeah, it's... 
it's pretty pretty nice it's pretty good and i got like tons of spiders and flies to help me out roll this i don't want the guillotine that's gonna get me twisted uh well i'm going i'm spider maxing so i might as well take infestation too <laughs> it's gonna be kind of nasty god i need hive mind so badly right now words cannot describe how badly i need hive mind on this run all right uh well here's to me like two shotting wormwood or something probably He's, he's gonna die extraordinarily fast. Maybe he's just gonna die to my spiders, probably. Yep, okay. He sure did. Roll that. Okay, it's useless. Oh, well, oh, well. What can you do? I can't complain about, like, rerolls not going my way, because I haven't had to have them go my way a lot. And th that being said, a lot of them still have been going my way, right? I got Hemo out of a reroll. I got Dead Cat out of a reroll. I got Parasitoid. Like, I've been, I've been doing good on rerolls. Roll me. Blue map is worth taking. That's gonna make looking for secret rooms easy, by the way. Uh, do I want starter deck? Starter deck's good. But I got PhD, so I shouldn't take it. Okay. I make that mistake a lot. I take PhD and I end up taking starter deck, and I'm like, wait a minute. This is useless. Did y'all hear about that, like, submarine that went missing trying to, like, go on a tour to look at the uh, Titanic wreck? Isn't that like, ironic? Isn't that, like, really, really funny and ironic how, uh... They, they they went on a submarine ride to look at the wrecked, sh like one of the most legendary, you know, sunken wrecked ships. And then they got lost themselves and probably wrecked and are probably dead, to be fair. Like, the people in that submarine are probably dead right now. Uh, so, like, maybe it's too soon to joke about it or whatever, but I do think it's kind of, like, an ironic twist of irony or whatever. Bloody Gus is nothing for me. Lost soul I might want to take. I don't know, I'm not too convinced of it just yet. Like, realistically, like, if you- if- if a submarine goes- like, loses contact. Like, if a ship gets stranded on the middle of the ocean and, like, loses contact, at least they're not, like, completely fucked necessarily, right? Because you can still see them. Like, another ship could come past them and, like, see them and, you know, maybe help them out. You know, they, they, they still have, like, access to the air and stuff, at least. Like, if a submarine loses contact, even if the people in it are still alive, how long can you live? If that shit doesn't resurface, like, immediately, what do you do? Like, you're fucked, right? There's nothing you can do anymore. You're actually screwed. You're only, you can only live down there for as long as there's air inside those tanks, and once that runs out, well, you're screwed. Okay, well, I'll take this for bookworm, and then I'll keep rolling. Is that worth it? Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm... I'm done testing my luck. I I appreciate that it allowed me to reroll that much. I think at this point it would have been very likely that it would have disappeared on a future reroll, and I wouldn't have had, wouldn't have had any way to cope with it. What the hell, a planetarium? The one percent planetarium? What is this run right now? What the hell is going on? This is kind of kind of insane. <laughs> uh, there's a seed, by the way. What the hell is this run, man? Soul is decent, but what if? Okay, here's a here's a cheeky little trick. If I save and quit right now. And this reroll doesn't work out. What if I like alter for the game? Does it like count as a crash and re return the item to its original state? It removes curses. It's worth taking. I can't risk it. I can't risk it. I call me a pussy, but I can't risk it, man. Soul is all right. It's not like the upper echelon of you know planetarium items. It's not. It's no Uranus. It's no uh, Neptunus or something like that. Even though Neptunus probably wouldn't even be that amazing on this run, considering my low tier rate. But it's. It's still pretty decent. I don't really need blanket. I will gladly take a more options. What else you got for me? Voodoo head. You know what? Sure, I'll take it. I can go to those curse rooms for free anyway. Still looking for that hive mind, baby. That hive mind is going to go mental if I happen to get it. Uh, I don't really care about that, but I might as well peep my devil deal first. Maybe I gotta use two rolls in here, or maybe I'll just take the pentagram. Maybe I'll just take the pentagram. Yeah, I just will, honestly. It's just worth taking. I'd rather use my roll out here. Uh, that's a tears up. I don't even know how much higher I can get my tier rate. Apparently, 0.01. <laughs> it went up by 0.01. That's it, huh? That's this. Okay. You think that's the tiers cap I got with Polly and Hemo? Uh, there's a good chance it is, actually. Oh, well. What do we got in this bedroom? Is it a clean one, perhaps? And will it have a black market, perhaps? Oh, ho, it is clean. Good chance to get a hive mine. Okay, that's fine as well. It's more spiders, technically. Boom. Okay, it's gone. Well, it's not the boss, but it is my special rooms. I don't have any conjoined pieces right now. I don't want a D100, that's for sure. This run is uh, crazy enough. I, I don't need I don't need a D100 right now. Roll me. You know what? I passed up start. Nah, I gotta take Wormfront, dude. It's like, I passed up starter deck, so I might as well take Polydactyly. Nah, come on. There ain't no way. Do I need charge, baby? Not really. I don't, I don't really need it. Roll it. Ah, man. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm trying to get that damn hive mind. That is my goal. It is, is the one thing I'm looking forward to in this run. 
Looking forward to finding an item in this chest, perhaps? Okay, well, that will also be interesting. Uh, I will be re-rolling that. <laughs> Boom. That is a massive tears up. Can I take the damage down from this? I think I can. It doesn't even- it's not even a tears up! Never mind, I thought it breaks a tears cap. Why did I think it breaks a tears cap? I'm stupid. For some reason, I thought skinny out much breaks a tears cap, but obviously, it evidently doesn't. So it was just a two, minus two damage down, which honestly isn't even that bad. <laughs> All things considered, it's actually not that huge of a deal right now. And more importantly, it's a bit of a speed up as well, which is nice. The speed up is actually quite helpful. Well, we can do this instead. This guy's gonna pay out with something. I will reroll it. I will get flip, which I don't care about. I will get death certificate, which I do care about. What do I want? Uh, I don't know. I guess I'll take glitch crown. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. Okay. Now I gotta get off the alt path after this floor. Uh, this is... Mine's too, yeah, okay. There it is, the boss, finally. I can get mapping. Hey, things are just dying like way too fast to my spiders. I can't even keep up with shooting. In fact, I probably never would be able to keep up with shooting because my uh, fire rate is so darn low. But whatever. Oh, I got map. Let's go. What do we have inside the devil deal that I can check out? Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. I need to take that duality, man. It's very convenient that like almost nothing else in here is even that exciting to begin with. That I might as well take the duality, right? Like, I could reroll, obviously, but I kind of want to get angel deals, and I still have some chances to get them, so I should take duality. I messed it up! All right! Great start! <laughs> Great start to my, uh, to my build here, huh? Roll this. Should I take Roid Rage? It's not like Toothpicks is gonna do anything for me. Give me Roid Rage. Roll this as well, because there might be something more useful. Dude, that- I think that- yeah, that I want that consolation prize, because that is gonna be a tears cap breaker. So that's actually gonna be huge. I hate that this ha every time. Every time. Every time this room- I do this room, I stand at the bottom. As soon as the bosses spawn, and I run into this guy. It happens every single time. But hey, I got a little bit of a tears up that breaks the tears cap, so I'm actually doing, like, better on tier right now. It's actually noticeable. It's only like a .05 tears up or whatever it was, but it is actually noticeable. Hello, Monstro 2. If Monstro is so good, why didn't they make a Monstro... If the Monstro 2 is so good, why didn't they make a Monstro 2 too? I had to, like, workshop that one live. That, that, it took, like, a second to workshop that one completely. <laughs> you think some some clever mod creator was like, Oh, I made, like, a new Monstro boss. And I called him Monstro 3. I feel like somebody was, like, feeling clever and they made that. There's a chance, right? There's a chance somebody would do that. I'll play you. You can pay out with something. Oh, I mean, my tier rate's already shite, so I might as well take quad shot, right? Does, is it even gonna do anything? Is it even gonna, like, impact my tier rate any further? Nope. It lowers my damage, which is fine. It, like, halved my damage, but it gives me four tiers, so it's, like, literally still a doubling of my damage output, which is A-OK -okay by me. What do we have in here? Oh my lord, a lot of stuff. <laughs> a lot of things! Um, yeah, I don't even want to reroll. Do I want to take Pyromaniac, though? It's good for safety, but it's not like I'm really struggling with explosions right now. I can always avoid taking Ipecac or Dr. Fetus and I don't have to worry about it. I'd rather just take Eden's Blessing to pay it forward for tomorrow's run. I'll I'll be I'll be blunt with that one. That seems like a fun idea. Just paying it forward a little bit. I'm not really struggling with explosions right now, you know? Not like I could benefit from the healing aspect of Dr. Fetus, and I can always just find a uh, host hat instead if I desperately need explosion resistance. It's got a lot of stuff. I gotta take mom's key. Mom's key is so good. Do I need mom's key? Do I want diplopia? I should take diplopia. I think that was a good play. I think that was the right choice. On this pedestal, I think I should just take the 9 volt. I should take magic skin actually. What am I thinking? Yeah, I should totally take magic skin. I'm the last bro. I can use this thing for free. Hold on. Boom. Wow, I don't want any of these. Uh, maybe shielded tears, but like with my fire rate, it's not that crazy okay uh anything else in here that i like want uh roll me i may take chaos before i leave i may want chaos not yet i i can wait a little longer on it because i want to re-roll in the secret room here maybe see if i can get something cool uh no apparently no i can't let's go for another one boom okay it's gone well that's unfortunate now i may as well take chaos now it don't matter to me anymore i Keep running into this room, almost running into that blood bank. It's happened like four times already as I'm just traversing that damn room. I am stupid. I am silly. I am stupid. Roll me again. I guess I'll take birthright. Timing was not is not on par today. That's that's for sure. Timing has not been good today. I've been I've been struggling with the timing, but oh well. Anyway, mom, you're gonna die in like one hit. And if not if one hit from me, then one hit from my spiders, definitely. I'm actually gonna go up today. Because I get to take more items that way. Yeah. You know what, is, what I'm kind of looking forward to right now? Like, in terms of upcoming gaming stuff? Not even, like, a new game release. 
I'm literally just looking forward to T mod loader getting ported to 1.4.4 so I can play modded Terraria with like all the all the newer features and stuff. Like I want to do another Calamity mod playthrough, but I sure as heck am not gonna do it while I don't have loadout presets. I'm never doing Calamity without loadout presets, man. That that shit is so useful to have. I was spoiled from vanilla Terraria with that with the loadout presets thing. You don't even really need it in vanilla, but in in modded it's gonna be so unbelievably useful. I'm really looking forward to that, man. I just want to play Calamity again. It's like my favorite thing. It's it's like made made my love for Terraria even deeper to the point where it's kind of like ruined me. Similarly with Minecraft, like I can't play vanilla Minecraft anymore because mods are just that good. They're just that fun to play with. Similarly, like uh, Calamity has done a similar thing for me with Terraria, where I kind of like I don't want to really play vanilla Terraria anymore because I could just be playing Calamity instead, which has way more content and is is way more fun and stuff. But at least with Terraria, the base game is still good as opposed to Minecraft, which is you know yeah contentless to say the least. Very 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 devoid of any meaningful content. Like, what did they even add in the latest Minecraft update? I know there's like the second video in a row where I'm talking about this. Not in a row, but like the second video where I'm talking about this. What did they even add in the new Minecraft update? Like, all I see people talking about is cherry blossom trees. Are you that excited about that? Damocles would be dope if it showed up earlier. I gotta take brimstone here, man. Please don't mess this up. Please don't mess this up. Let's go. I didn't mess it up. It screwed over my tier rate a little bit. But if that ain't something, I don't know what is. I should take the experimental, because that's going to be spun. 0.02 tears down. <laughs> oh, hell nah. Hate this room. Honestly, don't want to open that chest. It's just too much of a hassle. I think they, like, what else did they add to Minecraft? Did they, did, did they add, like, fucking archaeology? I think they finally added that. Only took them, like, what, four years after saying they would add it? Well, Terraria, they, they said they would stop updating. Like, it's like, Terraria's, like, almost the exact opposite of Minecraft. It's, not only is it a better game, but, like, it's the exact opposite from a developer standpoint, right? Minecraft devs keep saying, oh, we're gonna add this, we're gonna add this, we're gonna add this, and then they don't add it for, like, four years. Meanwhile, Terraria devs have been, like, saying, oh, this is the last update we're ever making for this game, we're never gonna work on it ever again, and then they've kept updating it for the past, like, four years. <laughs> like, four years ago, they said, oh, yeah, 1.4 is gonna be, like, the final update, guys. Like, it's gonna be a big one, it's gonna be the final one, though. We're never gonna continue working on Terraria after that. Fast forward, it's now 2023, and they're still working on the damn game. We're still getting vanilla Terraria updates. They can't stop it. They can't- they can't help themselves. And then on top of that, you got mods, which, uh, add a plethora of extra content as well, which is just crazy, man. Minecraft could never. Minecraft could simply never. Down we go to a future floor. Might as well open this one more time. I can't believe I- See, that's why I didn't want to mess with that chest! Because I knew that would happen! These- Damn things would suck me in and I wouldn't be able to escape their damn black hole pull. Ah, whatever, man. I didn't need perfection anyway. It was only Parasitoid that was benefiting from it, and it caps out at 5 luck. God damn it. Oh, dude, I need Spoon Mender here for the Brimstone Beams. I got it. Let's go. See, it don't even matter that I lost perfection. I'm not- I'm not mad. I'm not upset with myself at being an absolute fucking moron. <laughs> like, I really, like, second guess myself. Like, hmm, I- you know, at first I was like, I shouldn't mess with this chest. I'm gonna end up getting hit by the red poop and dying like a dumbass because those things are gonna pull me in and I won't be able to dodge them. Went and did it anyway. I opened the damn chest and I got punished for it. So I got a luck up already, it's good. Man, th when my tears don't hit anything directly, they just like disappear, huh? They just go off somewhere. I should probably take Incubus here. As much as I could become Guppy, I'm pretty sure, because I have two Guppy pieces. I should just take... I should just take Incubus, man. God, the fire rate is so low. I shoot once every fucking decade, but once I do, everything in my path disappears. Honestly, nothing is terribly exciting here. Roll it. Do you think Kidney Stone could save my tier rate? I feel like it could, maybe. It's... It, all things considered, it's a massive upgrade. <laughs> but it's still not great. My tier rate is just so comically low that even Kidney Stone struggles to save it. That's very funny. <laughs> Let's just kill Mom's heart real quick. Yep, that was about as I expected it to go. Just a simple one-shot. Just a simple, like, one-shot thing there that's, uh... Exactly what I expected out of it. I guess I'll just leave. I'm getting the luck back already, man. Those lucky pennies are being wonderful right now. And I don't even have to worry about the loss of perfection. It turns out it doesn't even matter. I just want to fight Isaac real quick just to get mapping. I'm probably going to do the rest of the floor anyway. And I mean, I literally one-shot him, so... <laughs> it's not like that was a big challenge. Might as well do this. Oh, cool, a deal. I should just take money equals power here, right? Like, that's just, like, the, the smart thing, because I have no other use for money at this point. What do I want here? Well, definitely I would not be opposed to perhaps taking the Parasite. That seems like a very funny item to have here. Alright, you know what? Roll me. Wow, two of them disappeared. 
Tough love would be amazing if I still had perfection. But I should probably still take it anyway. Because <laughs> the damage up will be quite something. And oh, yep. I remembered. This is the synergy. I've had this before. Hemo plus Brim plus Parasite is like an infinite brimstone machine. You shoot once and brimstone beams just keep appearing because the parasite tiers keep splitting off into hemo tiers that then split off into more beams. Uh, it goes kind of nuts. It just kind of never stops. It never stops! It just keeps going. Are you done? Nope. There's still brimstone beams going off somewhere. Okay, I think we're done now. It's very scary because you always think your game is going to crash, but the game handles it surprisingly admirably. It does not struggle at all. It lags a bit, but it doesn't... Oh my god, there's a lot going on here. There's like three items I want on this. There's Backstabber, there's Lacry, and there's Almond Milk. Dude, I should take Lacry. Almond Milk is wacky, but I should take Lacry. Because it makes the tier height less of a problem. And with these tiers burst, they make more Lacry, and it's like an infinite machine. Um, oh fuck, I have Kidney Stone active, hold on. I gotta save my game real quick, because I feel like this is my... I I'm getting into the... Territory where I'm almost certainly gonna crash the game. So at this point, I gotta be careful because whatever I've created is unholy It's a Rube Goldberg machine of death. That's that's what I've created it surprisingly it does less It's less spammy, but it obviously does way more damage and Way more lag for the second that it's active for so many tears so many projectiles so many brimstone beams <clears throat> It's outrageous dude. What a, what a fun synergy. This is what a, what a, what is what a fun thing to look at right? Just like a big puke ball of red tears that explode into brimstone beams and then annihilate anything they come in contact with. What a darn shame I won't get to fight Mega Satan. I probably missed the opportunity to grab an item that allows me to open a door already. Yeah, I've already ignored like a Mr. Me or a, a Dad's Key or something like that, but hey, never say never. There's a void, never mind, it's all good. This has potential to one-shot Delirium if he stays in his normal form that doesn't have boss armor for like a second. Although I feel like this does probably so much damage, it can probably even, like, break through his boss armor and still one-shot him. Tractor... Beam? What is Tractor Beam gonna do here? I have to know. I- I have- I have to know what Tractor Beam will do. First of all, it's a bit of a tears up. Oh my god. Um... Um... I'm scared of shooting. Ever again. I guess Spirit Sword could sa save me here, but, you know, I- I'm not taking that. I'm not taking Spirit Sword, come on. Yeah, I don't really know what I was thinking with Tractor Beam, but... Uh, whenever that happens, it's extremely scary. I I am scared of that happening. I think there's some synergies going crazy here, because, like, Brimstone's probably spawning more tears in its beam, and then... It kind of just perpetuates itself, and the tears try to get stuck to my Tractor Beam, and it kind of goes crazy. Uh, roll me? Chalky Milk. Well, at this point, I might as well. If I mess it up, I get Bob's Brain. Isn't that funny? Let's charge a full up. Shot. Is the beam gonna be- like, are the brimstone beams also gonna be massive? It's gonna explode eventually. No, it didn't. I guess I can feed, like, a massive thing. It's surprisingly tame! How is this so tame right now? Is- does the brimstone just get deleted because of it? I feel like Chalky Milk just, like, broke the synergy a bit. Maybe it's for the better. <laughs> as much as it sucks losing the brimstone, maybe it's for the better? Because I feel like that was a big contributor to- the lag spikes, never mind. As soon as it hits enemies, it still does spawn brimstones every once in a while. Yeah, never mind. It's still just as bad. It, it has not gotten any better. Matter of fact, I would argue it might have gotten worse. I'm actually scared of shooting, because I'm scared of what will happen. I'm gonna save real quick, just to like save my progress on this floor, because I don't want to have to redo the whole thing if I crash. Because every time this happens and there's like a lag spike, like the lag starts, I'm like scared. Like, look at that. That was like a full on, the game was like frozen for a second. Oh god, it's hitting like rocks and shit. This is where- this is where it dies. This is where it's over. This room is where the game dies. I'm not even shooting. Like, I literally am not shooting. I'm not holding any shooting button. I, it's just the game doing itself. How am I not crashing, bro? Oh my god, it feels so fast all of a sudden. <laughs> I was stuck in that room for like 10 seconds at like the low frame rate. And now that my frame rate is good again, it feels so fast. The game's running at like hyper speed. This is- what the hell, man? Oh my god. Just get me out of here, please. Just let me kill Delirium. Please. I want this run to end. Get me out of this fresh hell that I've created. The, the 20 FPS. Oh, soy milk. Yeah, okay, let's just make this like insane, right? Yeah, with soy milk, my tier rate is now at an acceptable level, uh, and my damage is still pretty high. I am terrified of what will happen. Well, and let's round it out with some fruitcake madness. How, how about that? Make it even worse. And delirium, you stand no chance. I have a kidney stone, unfortunately, so I will not be able to one shot him immediately, but maybe I can just one shot him through boss armor, which uh, I seem to be trying to do my best work at right now. Oh, there you go. He 
turned into his normal form and I died, but so did he. Okay, I guess I'll fight him again. That's fine. Nope, my kidney stone popped and there's a lot of lag going on. He's frozen in place and he's dying. Look at that, he's got boss armor too. It is like a fucking PowerPoint presentation. What is this slideshow I'm witnessing? I don't even know, man. How am I supposed to ever avoid damage here? I shouldn't have taken fruitcake. I think fruitcake is being a problem here. Okay, I don't have fruitcake. I don't have kidney stone right now. Let's just kill him before he transforms. Okay, he's dead. I don't even know how he died. I don't know what he died to, but he's dead. I don't have to keep shooting. It's it's okay. We're good. I did have a kidney stone at the end there. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck is happening? Get me out of here. This was uh, an indescribable run. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what happened, bro. I, like, kind of lost track of everything halfway through. Where am I? Who am I? What am I doing here? All I know is I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one.